Been back from Wales for three days now, I was there for a week on holiday. Didn't take the bikes, they stayed here, took the children because it's the summer holidays and they're in the house at the moment and they're bored all the time. And I thought, well, if I go to Wales with them for a week, they can be bored there instead. Now, Wales is very rugged and it's outdoorsy. And it's very back to nature. And hopefully that explains the two what there seemed like good ideas that I have come back with. Number one, I want to buy a Jeep Wrangler. In Wales, it made a lot of sense. People were driving pickups and Land Rovers and bouncing around over rocks. It makes no sense in Reading. The other idea, this goes downhill, I want to run an ultra marathon. Why? I went for a jog while I was there and it was a tiny bit longer than the normal 10 kilometer runs I do here. And it was along the coastal path and it was all very, here's my problem. I'm back in Reading and in one hour, I run an ultra marathon. And don't worry, I have two. That's not even the biggest problem. The biggest problem is this. Yesterday, I found myself in a Jeep dealership. I took Jenna, my voice of reason and common sense. She said, the one in burnt orange looks really, really cool. What is the point of this video? Number one, if I don't make a video, say I'm gonna go and do the run, I'll go back to bed. Number two, I suppose if you're somebody that wants to run an ultra marathon and you've never trained for one, this might be useful. That might be a rather small category of people. For everyone else, I have no idea. Don't watch it, or do and laugh, who cares? Let me give it all some context for you so you know where I'm at going into this. I can run already. I run five kilometer park runs. I run the occasional 10K race. I do that in about 45 minutes. That means I am faster than most other people, but I'm not faster by any means than most runners. There are a lot of people watching this will think 45 minutes for a 10K is not particularly quick at all. I get that, but it means I can run to some extent. I've never run further than 10 kilometers officially. I have done two training runs that were about 20 kilometers. That's it. I'm today gonna to run 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers. My hope is that it will be like running five, 10 kilometers, and I can run 10 kilometers fine. So I just do it five times. That's the plan, really. The plan is to run five times 10 kilometers and hope that the compounding effect of doing one after the other non-stop doesn't have a compounding effect. Already this is making so little sense. I'm taking my GoPro, I'm going to film what happens. Um, I just want to go back to bed. I'm here, I'm registered. Number 78. This run is actually hopefully quite a good one to start off with. The downside is that it's an out and back lapsed race. So you run five kilometers, two and a half K out, two and a half K back repeatedly. Some people are gonna do one lap, five kilometers, then go home. Some will do 10, 15, 20, whatever. You can run as long as you like. We have seven hours uh, maximum. So you can run as far as you can go within seven hours. All right, 10, yeah, 10, five K laps. You get your 50 kilometer, pin to go with your medal and off you go. Now that's a bit boring because it's backwards and forwards on the same path but it does mean that I come back past the starting point the aid station with the snacks and food and drink and first aid every five kilometers so ten times hopefully that gives me a bit of reassurance it means that worst case scenario I can get access to anything I might need uh, including my car if I want to go home so although not the most adventurous ultramarathon, um, it might well be the most sensible one to start off with. I'm gonna take the GoPro with me and uh, just update accordingly. Yeah, here we go. Okay, update time. It's hot. Just uh, came up on 34K at three hours 20. Um, 
first 10k no problem almost struggled to run slow enough for the right pace but uh no problems 20k good coming up on 30k starting to hurt now hurting uh, my pace average now six minutes oh two spoiler alert it's now monday clearly i didn't die but i thought it would be useful just to record this to give some additional information to what was going on so there I was coming up on 30k, I think. The first 10k was fine. I ran it in 5 minute 30 kilometer pace, which for a normal 10k is pretty slow for me. That's a 55 minute 10k. I can do a 45 minute 10k. So that was easy, no problems at all. I then went into the second 10k, so running up to 20 kilometers. That felt all right as well. But the 5 minute 30 kilometer pace felt quite appropriate, it didn't feel too easy at all. 20 to 30k, going into new territory, because I'd not run that far before, ever, and it started to feel like running at 5 minute 30 kilometer pace was actually becoming quite tricky, to the point where some of my kilometers were not meeting that target at all, and therefore my average for the total distance thus far was starting to slip. If it goes beyond 6 minutes per kilometer, that equates to longer than five hours for the whole event, and my five hour target was not gonna be met. So that's where I'm at this point. And it is starting to get pain, it's not painful. I use the word pain quite a few times in this, and that's not the right word. Things just ached. Cardiovascularly, I felt fine. My breathing was okay, my heart rate was pretty stable, 145, 150, which is not strenuous. My hip flexors were starting to ache though, a little bit of ache in my knees, a little bit of ache in my ankles. It just felt like I was enduring something I wasn't used to because I was enduring something I was not used to. 36K, now starting to hurt. This hurts. Three hours, 40 minutes. I'm slipping on my target of under five hours, but uh, new target is finished somehow. Hips hurt, ankles hurt, sun's out. 37k. Updating only because I need to do something to take my mind off the pain. Um, 37k is about 15k further than I've ever run in my life. Uh, and the only times I got close to it is a couple of 20k training runs. We are in new ground. Um, it's horrible ground. I've adopted a running technique that to the outside world probably makes me look like I'm a hundred shuffling along. But to me, I feel like at least 110. So, God knows. Quick point on the running technique thing because it was influencing that discomfort I was having then and a bit of discomfort I'm left with now. I used to land on my heel when I ran. I started running at way over 300 pounds in weight and landing on my heel meant that I had pain in my, where didn't I have pain? Shins, knees, hamstrings, quads, hips, toes, ankles, everything hurt. I read the book Born to Run And like anyone that reads the book, I immediately went out and bought some Vibram Five Fingers and started barefoot running and all the pain disappeared completely. I still have some Five Fingers in the gym because they look like that and I don't wear them outside the gym. All my running shoes though are zero drop. It means there's no difference between the height and the forefoot and the heel, which allows for that running technique of landing on the midfoot, which means I have zero pain and discomfort when I run normally. But when I get really, really tired, that could be the end of a 10K race where I've pushed hard, it could be an obstacle course race that's gone way over two hours, or in this instance, at 28, 29 kilometers, for some reason, I don't know why, my body likes to go back to a heel strike technique. Why does it do that? Why does it? I don't know. My body does it though, and if I'm not mentally aware of it, before I know it, I've done five or six kilometers running badly and pain kicks in. Coming up off 40K, um, four hours, five minutes. So there's no way I'm going sub five. 
new plan sub five and a half and if I can do it without stopping which I haven't yet run the whole thing I'll be very happy right now I'm not very happy right now I'm in lots of pain pain it's all relative I'm stiff I'm stiff and aching it's not pain um man up yeah man up big baby so at this point that five hours thing is gone I'd have to increase my speed at this point to get back on track never going to happen my new objective became five and a half hours but actually my biggest objective throughout the entire thing was to run the whole way I only stopped to walk at the aid station to grab my water and even then only for a moment and then back to running again running slow but running I appreciate there are many many people that enter runs and then walk either some or all of the distance people go to park runs and walk them and that is absolutely fine if that's what you want to do more power to you better than sitting at home but for me my objective was to run it I didn't want to say I'd run an ultra marathon if I hadn't so at this point and it was hard work I was just fighting the urge to walk 42k and my Apple watch piece of junk has just told me it's got 10% battery left so I had to shut down my podcast um, so that sucks just gone through 44k watch has died uh, full on Jack Bauer off the grid gone dark styly running now um, this is quite exciting now because I'm on lap nine it's the last big lap each lap is actually a bit more than 5k so the tenth and final lap is a shortened one just to get you to the 50k so this lap nine the last full lap I just like the idea right now that it's the last of something um, okay just over a park run to go yay I can't go any faster than I'm going but I'm running I'm ultra running bizarrely okay a few more k when I get to the 50k marker I turn around go back and I'm done about a kilometre and a half to go I am so done in every possible sense just man I'm done yes. Yes. how many laps you on? no crushing it unbelievable that guy that just came past me is on way over 65k He's ignoring the 50k thing he's just running as far as he can in the seven hour time limit for the whole event absolute beast he's running like he's out for a casual sunday stroll unbelievable anyway i am now on the last half kilometer and i'm going to talk over this clip because the wind noise makes it rubbish otherwise that guy that ran off ahead of me is doing regular full laps because he still has plenty to go because he's nuts I am on the much shortened last lap for people doing 50k. What that means is that we both joined up again with each other for the last short run back to the aid station, the finish line for me. So I chose to run with him at a much faster pace than I was able to otherwise, just so I had a decent run across the finish line. In fact, I actually ended up with a sprint finish. Not quite sure where that came from, but I had something left, sprinted, got to the bell, ringing the bell indicated that you were done. I didn't have the physical strength to ring the bell, so I just made a dinging noise. And that was it, 50 kilometers completed. I am an ultra runner, I have run an ultra run. Wow, I am tired. Um, if the medal is in shot, which it probably is, I'm gonna blank it out because I'm gonna come back to, to this little gym later this is just an update to say that i completed it with a sprint finish as well relatively speaking 
Um, yeah, it was a sprint finish. They called it a sprint finish. I think my time was 5.38, they said. It was okay. It was okay, and I feel all right. No, I don't. That's a lie. I don't feel as bad as I thought I'd feel. Um, right now, my legs ache, and I'm slightly cautious of them cramping because I feel like they're on the edge of that crampy sensation. My toes hurt. Don't feel out of breath, really. Feel okay. Um, when I get home, change, shower, that will be a time to evaluate properly how I feel, I guess. And then uh, and then maybe tomorrow morning. Um, anyway, but for now, I'm an ultra runner. <laughs> ultra runner. So what have I learned after all that? Well, three main things. Number one, the human body is pretty good, as long as you're in reasonable shape to begin with, at just getting through something it's not used to doing and coming out relatively unscathed, because I feel good today. I was told on Saturday on a few running forums when I asked about running a 50K without training, don't. You are gonna get injured, you'll get hurt, it will go very, very bad, you are mad. And that is good, sensible advice, but for me, they were wrong. I'm really feeling great today. I'm gonna to train later, not doing legs, but I'll be in the gym, got a yoga class tonight to stretch everything out, and now I'm back to normal tomorrow. Gonna to run 5K tomorrow, probably do a 10 on Thursday, and on Sunday I've got a 20K obstacle course race. No concerns about that. I feel absolutely ready. Not injured at all. Number two. My diet was spot on for that event. I ran it with water and a couple of sports gels right towards the end. I eat normally a combination of intermittent fasting, so I don't eat until late in the afternoon, and keto, so low carb when I do eat, until very late in the evening when I have a measured amount of carbs, more than somebody on keto would normally do. If you're interested in that protocol, Ben Greenfield is the guy I follow online. I'll stick his link down below. It works for him, works for me very, very well. What I didn't need to do was go to the refreshments table, like everyone else seemed to, and eat brownies and sugar and Mars bars and Coke and Tango. I had no requirement for that at all. I felt good the entire time. I never felt hungry. I never felt out of energy in that sense. Felt really good, got home, ate as normal, eating normal today when I start to eat. Everything's good. Number three, pay attention. I learned to pay attention because one of the reasons I went for this particular race was that when it popped up on my Facebook feed, not only did I see that it was local, but also they were advertising a great medal, and I love a great medal. They were calling it the Forest Run. I figured it's not really for a forest, it's a bit of woodland along a riverbank, but whatever, a Forest Run, an outdoorsy ultra run medal, this is gonna be awesome. When they said forest, I thought trees and squirrels, what they meant when they said Forrest was Tom and Hanks, hence the medal is Forrest Gump inside a box of chocolates. I'm still not sure what to make of the Run Forrest Run medal, but it's a medal. So that's it. Am I going to run another one? Am I going to run another one? Not immediately. Uh, at some point next year, probably. I quite like the idea of getting under five hours. I've got a couple of big, long Spartan races this year, two beast events coming up there, ample long enough for me for now. I have no immediate desire to go and run 50 kilometers again anytime real soon, but it doesn't matter. I am an ultra marathon runner, completer. Completer? I run one. And that makes me rugged and outdoorsy. Um, and that pretty much automatically qualifies me to go and buy a Jeep Wrangler. No, it doesn't. Don't even, don't, maybe it does.